Okie dokie. We're going to take a look at uh, something interesting today called, uh, what are called infinite products here. And um, I wrote here, uh, Arfkin, uh, many a mathematician uh, uh, or physicist uh, knows the book Arfkin, uh, Mathematical Methods for Physicists. I'm sure they've, uh, well, I hope they're still teaching out of that after so many years. I That's what I learned out of uh, when I was a, I think I junior at the yeah but junior or sophomore in uh at uh university of arizona uh, undergrad anyways yeah I, I like to take those fun courses very early in my career all right so uh a lot of these i don't show where i get the problems from uh of course some of these lectures of mine are original I will state that here. Uh, and since some of them, I, 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 sometimes I'll write down it was by Mary L. Boas or something, or, or were the sources where I get uh, for the other lectures that are uh, just standard mathematical, uh, uh, advanced mathematical methods for physicists uh, uh, things. So I'm sorry, I don't, I don't document everything, but I don't, I'm, I've never claimed this is my original stuff. Some, some of my lectures, though, are original. Uh, you can usually tell those because... You'll go on the internet and everyone will disagree with me. So those are those are my original ones. All right, but then a lot of people disagree with a lot of other people who are in well-established universities. Also, that's 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 the that's the uh, the uh, challenge of uh, uh, finding new things is to, of course. Uh, be disagreeable with others, just like Einstein was, and many other scientists were, like Galileo and and this. They were they were all bucking the the system, you know. Uh, all the all the physicists before these other physicists were were wrong, and these physicists uh, brought uh, brought about a new thing. So uh, the the point is to put the information out there and then have it uh, peer reviewed over somehow and. And people comment and say, hey, no, you're wrong, or hey, you're wrong. Sometimes you're wrong, but you gave me a good idea, and, and my good idea is right, you know, and, and thank you for that. And then sometimes you're right, you know, as has happened many times. Anyways, that's why I wrote Arfkin here, just for the to remind me of the good old days of um, mathematical methods for physicists. Um, anyways, we're going to discuss um, infinite products here. Um, this is a product, of course, pi uh, as a product, and we're doing this, um, uh, we'll just call this X. We're gonna, that's our job is to find Mr. X. And we're gonna do this product from 2 to infinity. For those who don't know what a product is, it's not a sum. A sum, you stick 2 in, uh, and then, uh, plus, you stick a 3 in, plus, you stick 4 in, plus, and so on. With a product, you stick 2 into n and n, because it's n equals uh, 2. You stick 2 into here, and then instead of plus, like summation, you do times. So it'll be times uh, stick 3 into here, times uh, stick 4 into here, times, and a bunch of houses are going to be multiplied, it look like this, just with 2 in it, then 3 in it, and then 4 in it. And uh, like I said, they'll all be multiplied. That's what pi is different than sum. So uh, we, what we want to know is, what does this, uh, does this come out to be? Uh, it goes to infinity. So is this infinity? Is it zero? Is it 15? Is it negative seven? Uh, we'd like to find out the number that this is, and this is how we, we figure it out. Um, oh, by the way, this was a homework problem inside ARF. And I, yeah, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was a homework problem, um, I think. Anyways, um, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to take the natural log of both sides. Uh, so we'll get the natural log of x on this side. And it turns out that when you take the natural log of a product, pi, you can actually bring the natural log inside. I'll explain that to you right here really quickly. Uh, if we have um, uh, pi 1 through 5 of n squared, of course that means stick in 1, 1 squared times, stick in 2, 2 squared times, not plus, uh, stick in 3 squared, uh, stick in 4 squared, and then stick in 5 squared, and multiply all the stuff. Well, if you take the natural log of this, it means taking the natural log of this. But the natural log of this, I didn't write it all out because I didn't want to. The natural log of uh, stuff multiplied is equal to the natural log of... Uh, each one, uh, each, ter uh, each factor uh, um, 
add it, of course, you know. So the natural log of 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 of each of them squared is really the natural log of 1 squared plus the natural log of 2 squared plus the natural log of 3 squared because they're rules of natural logs. So what we see is that... Um, is that when you take the natural log of a, of a product, uh, the, the, the natural log of a product, you can bring the natural log in and it changes the product into a sum. The product changed into a sum of natural logs. The natural log of a product is the sum of the natural log of the, uh, uh, the term equation there. And so that's what that, uh, that uh, this illustrates. So the natural log of uh, of a product of f of n, uh, or a sub n, some people call it, I, I call it f of n, but you can call it a sub n if you feel uncomfortable with that. So the natural log of the product of f of n is equal to the sum of the natural log of f of n, uh, which of course, if you take e to both sides, means that um, the product of f of n equals e to the na uh, sum of the natural log of f of n. This is kind of a cool formula because some calculators out there have uh, summations, but they don't have products. So with, if you know this formula, you can use your calculator to type it in this form. Uh, for instance, uh, in this example, uh, in your calculator, you can to do this one right here. If you wanted to do uh, pi... Uh, 1 through 5 n squared, and your calculator doesn't have this, or you can't find it on your computer program. Uh, instead, uh, why don't you do e to the sum of the natural log of um, n squared uh, from 1 uh, through 5. So if you do this, you'll be doing this. And you do have summation on your calculator. A lot of calculators have summation. But they don't have products. So that's what this formula is powerful for. Uh, so again, uh, if we had this, we took the natural log of this side, and the natural log of the product is change it to a summation and bring the natural log inside. Um, also, what I did from here to here is I added this fraction. So we get this if you add this fraction. Um, okay, so that fraction added, natural log here. And so we get this. And actually what we're going to do is expand this series. So stick in 2, 2, 2, uh, 2 plus 2, 4, 1, uh, 2, 2, this is 3. So the first island is natural log of this. Plus, uh, you know, stick in 3, you get this. Plus stick in 4, you get this. And so on. So this is n equals 2, n equals 3, n equals 4, n equals 5, dot, 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 up to infinity. And then we're going to do something kind of interesting. Uh, we're going to contract this, the, all these natural logs, because natural log of something plus something plus something is one natural log with each of these uh, multiplied. And that person is there, and this is right here, and this is right here, and this is right here. And, and what we notice is that, look, uh, the fours cancel, the twos cancel, so the front people here canceled. The 1 and 3 stayed alive here from this. Uh, they stayed alive. Um, so the 2 and the 4 canceled with this. Well, the 5 and 3 will cancel over here. And the 6 and 4 will cancel on the next island. And the 7 and 5 will cancel on the next one. So from then now on, everybody else will cancel, which means that the natural log of x equals the natural log of the only two people that uh, did not cancel, 1 and 3. So the natural log of x... Uh, equals the natural log of one-third. Well, if the natural log of x equals the natural log of one-third, uh, that means that x has to equal one-third, of course. And so, uh, who is Mr. X? Uh, he's one-third. So, if you do, if you do have a calculator with a product, or you go to, you go to Wolfram Alpha or some sort of computer uh, thing, and you have a product, uh, type that in, and you should hopefully get something very close to uh, one-third. Okay. okay. Alrighty, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed this lecture. I look forward to any comments at the bottom, and thank you very much for watching.